welcome back to Up Late with Creepy Kate, with me, Creepy Kate. On this dark and stormy evening, I wanted to share with you some very creepy videos that I found across the internet this week, so I hope you're prepared to get scared. First up is some home security camera footage of what appears to be a thylacine, an animal thought to be long extinct. The thylacine is also known as the Tasmanian tiger, and the last one was said to have gone extinct in 1936 in captivity. This photo was posted by an unknown user on Imgur about five days ago, and it was taken on March 6th of this year on his home security camera at about 2.02 in the morning. The person who posted this photo did not provide any detail on where the photo was taken or where he lives. He simply asked the internet to help him identify this strange canine looking creature in his driveway. Now depending on where the poster of this picture actually lives, it gives us a couple of options to narrow down what this creature in the photo could possibly be. If the poster is from somewhere in the southeastern United States or South America, it could be the Chupacabra. However, if the poster is from Australia, which is suggested in the shape of the license plate of the car in his driveway, a long skinny license plate, this leaves a possibility that this could in fact be a picture of the long thought extinct Tasmanian tiger. Now the Tasmanian tiger was a carnivorous marsupial that was native to Australia, New Guinea, and Tasmania and was hunted to extinction by farmers in the late 1800s and early 1900s. The last known thylacine, which I have a picture of here, was thought to have died on September 7th, 1936 and the species has been rumored extinct ever since then. Unfortunately, since we don't have any information about where this photo was taken or where the poster of this photo lives, we really can't make it a definitive guess as to what this creature could be. And honestly, it could be anything. It does look a lot like a Tasmanian tiger. So if the poster is in Australia or New Guinea or somewhere around that area, uh, it's a good chance, I think, in my mind, that it could possibly be a remnant of the Tasmanian tiger still alive in that area. Since the Tasmanian tiger only went extinct in 1936, that wasn't that long ago. I think it's very possible that the Tasmanian tiger could still be surviving out in the wild in Australia, New Guinea, and Tasmania today. In fact, sightings of the thylacine or the Tasmanian tiger are relatively common and there have been plenty of videos and pictures over the years since 1936 that have popped up that make me think that maybe the thylacine is not exactly extinct. However, the Tasmanian tiger is still officially extinct, but I don't know, pictures like this make me second guess. Alright, next up I have for you tonight a video of a dogman and his pack in South Africa. This video was actually filmed last year in October of 2017, but it's been making the rounds on the internet lately and it's recently come back up. This is a video that purportedly shows a half man, half dog creature running around with a pack of wild dogs in Limpopo, South Africa. <laughs> Okay, now my first thought upon watching this video was, uh, what the heck is that guy doing out there? As you can see, this guy is obviously wearing shorts. It's not a half man, half dog creature. It's just some weird guy out there running around with a pack of wild dogs. Actually, according to my research, his name is Philip. Philip Oliphant, and he just likes running around with dogs. He's really good at it. This one is not as creepy as it seems. It's just some guy named Phil hanging out with some dogs. Now on to a much creepier little bit of footage. This is a supposed dogzilla creature from Santa Fe, Argentina that was photographed after ripping apart a German Shepherd and a pit bull, according to the story. This photo was posted in video form back at the end of April on a YouTube channel called UFO Mania, which uh, when I checked out their channel, they post about 14 videos a day and they're very sketchy. I encourage you to have a look and be a little wary of this channel. Uh, the video of this creature is just a photo with a voiceover that cuts off about halfway through and then some weird music starts playing. So it's really not even a well done 
crappy photo video. I always personally dislike when someone takes a photo and turns it into a video with words or voiceover over it because why are you doing that? It's a photo. It's good on its own. We don't need to see you like slowly pan over it and then pan back out and then zoom in 14 different times. It's pointless. Just show us the photo. Anyway, here's the original photo. Pretty creepy, right? In the article about this creature that was posted on the Sun's website, they said that it was seven feet tall. So by all estimates, this was a very big, very scary, very creepy creature. When I first saw the photo, I immediately thought that it might be a Photoshop because the creature in question just looks really weird, too weird to exist, really. It looks like something that may be CGI or something that's been photoshopped in and then CGI'd. It's just really weird looking. The shadow underneath of the creature is weird as well. Uh, the shadow, especially below the ear, doesn't look like it's at the right angle. It's kind of got a disconnected foot shadow, so I'm not really sure what's going on. When I dug a little further into this one, I found it was actually posted on Inexplicata on Blogspot, which is a great resource for South American paranormal encounters. And it turns out that after their article was posted, they actually had some reviews from fans who noticed that this creature was strikingly similar to the werewolf version of Remus Lupin from the Harry Potter series. As you can see, it looks exactly like Remus Lupin in werewolf form from the Harry Potter series. It looks like they kind of just stuck that uh, werewolf into the photo and messed it up a little bit, pixelated it a little bit so that maybe we couldn't tell, but we can tell. So in this case, unfortunately, this definitely was a hoax and there was no seven foot tall dogzilla terrorizing this town in Argentina. Well, thank goodness for them, really. One last little bit of fun when it comes to Dogzilla, though. I actually found another YouTube video where some researchers in Chile ran across the corpse of what could be this Dogzilla creature in Aysen, A-Y-S-E with a in Chile. And according to these researchers, many locals in the town said, this has to be proof, proof of El Chupacabras. Now, traditionally, in Chupacabra accounts, the Chupacabra is a lot smaller than this Dogzilla creature. He's usually only about, like, this big. Interestingly enough, there are actually two different types of Chupacabras known to cryptozoology. The original Chupacabra accounts from 1995 in Puerto Rico describe a lizard-like creature with spines running down its back, big fangs, and red eyes. He was very lizard-like. Nowadays, the chupacabra that's seen most often in Texas and in the southeastern United States is much more dog-like, and he kind of just looks like a dog with mange. Personally, I tend to favor the old-school chupacabra because he sounds way creepier and way cooler and way less fathomable. The new-school chupacabra is really just a coyote with no hair. He's kind of boring, although he does have some pretty spiky fangs. The name chupacabra comes from the Spanish words chupar, which means to suck, and cabras, which means goats. So the Chupacabra's name literally translates to goat sucker. This of course was because in the original accounts of the Chupacabras in Puerto Rico, they found lots of goats with puncture wounds on their necks that were completely drained of their blood, but they were not feasted on in any other way. Modern reports of the Chupacabra describe the same type of phenomena with farm animals completely drained of blood. It's only the creature, the Chupacabra itself, that seems to have changed over time. This video, I think, is also obviously fake. The creature uh, that they found in the woods looks remarkably like that Dogzilla creature from the last video, and neither of them looks very real to me at all. The body of this creature looks like it could easily be made of crafty materials. Its fingernails and hands especially look really kind of fake and not anatomically correct to me. And you also notice when they pan over its back legs, they're kind of like, they got like four knees. They're not really very realistic at all. Anyway, I always have fun discovering these creepy, scary videos across the internet. I love when stuff like this pops up, even if it is an obvious hoax. I really love looking into it and I enjoy cryptozoology and crypto hoaxology as well. Thank you for staying up late with me this evening. I'll put a link to all the videos and pictures that I discussed in the description box below. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button and you can give me a thumbs up if you so feel. I always hate when YouTubers say that because I feel like it's kind of hokey, but like, it would really help me out. I'm trying to get this started and if you like what you see, 
uh, I'd like to make more videos for you. So help me out by showing me some love if you feel like it. Thank you for watching and thank you for staying up late. As always, I've been Creepy Kate and I'll see you next week.